Hey, what's up, guys? Cast Blast back with another episode of Low Hero Govejo, uh, Low Hero Valk Attacks. On this base, this is a maxed out Town Hall 9 defense. Uh, he's got a level 18 queen, I believe. He's X bows down, uh, hard set. There's hidden traps maybe everywhere. But this episode, I want to go over why I use jump over earthquake, what it lets me do. And I've gotten this dispute argument difference of opinion uh many times because why i use what i do guys and proper jump spells covering seven cells to me is more important than an earthquake opening up eight cells now there's very few cases where the earthquake can be better um but jump for me you get seven cells out of it earthquake you get eight and you lose two cells or two spell slots so let me sh demonstrate what i'm talking about now here we got an attack from a higher level uh town hall nine in the clan actually really good attacker guys we're not beating up anyone here um and there's a bunch of mistakes that happen on this this war we had already cleaned the clocks on these guys the war was over early um but this was an attack done i know everyone wasn't on their a game in this war d just with the bashing we put down on them instantly uh and there's other reasons why this failed but let's take a look at the earthquake and what it takes away from you when you bring an earthquake to open up you need four so you bring three heals right this guy's bringing 10 valks 20 hogs uh golem in there uh four whizzes these giants are pretty much useless in govejo guys don't waste 15 cells on giants bring whiz bring hogs bring valks um, that is what you need. The hogs are meant for the outer edges as the Valks tear the core up. So let's not bring giants anymore. Um, but this guy, he's going to open it up on, on the cell over here. Now he brings a max golem. I'll debate that all day. I don't even bring max golems anymore. I've switched to bringing max Valks and just like a level three golem. Um, and then he opens up this mid cell. Now that's going to trap his troops in the middle instead of starting at a corner. So there's a couple small mistakes in here, but watch what comes out of the CC and they weren't using this combo a lot this war. So I'll give that is a dragon a loon. If this was all loons or all air, those are Valk killers. So big mistake, only a couple whiz and a queen and the queen's about to take a walk. Now, how could he have dealt with this? If he had thrown two poisons on, two poisons are going to kill that CC, even if none of his whiz make it in there. Um, slowly, but those they'll slow down the CC's attack, giving his troops more time to defend themselves. Without that, right now, that loon and that drag are going to eat those Valks for dinner. In comes the earthquakes, mind you, a bit late, but the damage is already done. The earthquake should have been in earlier, but it's too late. There's no chance. That entire group. So all you got left is giants and hogs. He knows the attack's over. We don't need to watch the rest of it because he didn't get the CC. He didn't get the queen. Um, you know, doing this, those earthquakes should have came in first if that's where he wanted them. I assume he was deciding as he was watching it all unfold and, and turn to jello in his hands where to put that. But that's why I don't use earthquake guys. I use jump and let me show you how I three starred this. So mind you guys, I didn't even watch that replay. I came into war late. It was, it's been a rough week for uh, old cast and blast here. Um, but I decided to do go Vejo. I, this base needed done. I had it ready with my army and uh, if my Gove, I was actually doing Goveo to kind of scout it out for myself to do Queen Pop on. Um, I didn't notice that it was hit earlier. So I figured do Goveo. Uh, my Queen Pop army was building for another base uh, that I had just demolished. Um, and then I was going to come in with Queen Pop and clean it up if need be. So I had this attack ready. I was ready to go. What I did is I threw down my Golem over there. I brought my own Golem, right? I bring a level three golem with me that's all i need because i can start clearing out some of this trash now once you start doing your scouting guys see what defenses can't shoot give yourself a head in the game right so there's your archer tower line and your cannon line came out right here so what can you clear out with your whiz before you lay in your golem to get beat up on you can start shooting that 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 you can take out those buildings before your golem sets foot on the battlefield 
And then I'm going to bring my golem, throw him up here. That's going to tank all these defenses. And all I have to do now is just clear one building, maybe a building out there. And my job's done. Lickety split. I can hit the wall breakers and throw my troops into the game with my golem barely getting touched. Saving that DPS is very important. Now, so my troops are in here. Where do I want them to go? There might be traps in there. I'm assuming the most likely spots are here. I'm really assuming right there, possibly here. Uh, and my other assumption is there. I'm really assuming he has them here and here. So how am I going to get to those? Well, if I throw a jump spell right there, that's only one, two, three, four, five, six. And a jump spell covers seven. So that could actually be bigger and still your jump will fit. But if you put it right in the middle there, boom, your jump. You get into all the rest of this. So now this entire battlefield is open from one cell or one jump, guys. That's not an earthquake. You're opening up once again. All of these cells are touched without even breaking a wall with one jump spell. What is that also going to do? That's going to cause havoc there. It's also going to get my troops into here to be able to shoot over here where I think the other trap might be. So all my hogs have to do is clean this very outer line and game over. I have a low hero, low troop. Let's check it out for the win. Good old CNB. So you can see I'm coming in with a level three golem, one level three golem, my own Valks and some max Valks in the CC, 20 hogs, and I bring seven whiz along. Now there's my two whiz cleaning house before my golem touches the battlefield. Now my golem's in. I throw down the rest of my whiz real quick and I boom, wall break right in. Here comes the rest of my troops and the Valks are galloping and they're marching in and here comes his air, right? Air's going to eat up my Valks. But since I did not bring an earthquake, what do I get to do? Poison, poison, double effects, goodbye troops. Doesn't matter. Even though I did bring seven whiz, there's one, there's three. So only two whiz are in the game and my weak level 10 queen's looking over there. But I got two poisons down and I got heals and I got jumps. So my Valks are moving. The troops are slowing. Those poisons, remember guys, not only do they take down the power, they also slow the offensive power of the CC. So that means less DPS they're spitting out at your troops. Now everything is focusing in, in on the core, right? I know I already, these spots are covered. My troops are already there and this. Um, as soon as they finish clearing, I know they're going to go over here, right? So I can start cleaning this side. I don't want them to keep running over here. So I'm going to take my hogs and start cleaning from that direction. To kind of direct my Valks and my heroes. Yeah, like coerce them. I want you guys to keep going. So there's the first set of bombs. I didn't even notice it because I was so focused on getting my hogs in. Um, but lucky me, first set of bombs went off. I assume they might be over there, but such is life. So first set of bombs go off, right? And now my troops punch in to the danger zone. So what do I do? I see, all right, I got... These are getting eaten up by a whiz tower. That whiz tower already got one, two, three shots on him. He's about to hit him again. Now skellies are pulling. So I do use one heal on my hogs. But what do I do with my other heal? I throw them on my Valks and my king to keep them going. They just hit double bombs. Um, Yes, I spent the heals on my Valks. And then came and backdoored a couple more hogs. Three hogs, three hogs, three hogs. Yeah, I'm losing hogs to skellies. I'm losing hogs to traps and springs. But look at that pack of hogs. Still alive with only one heal used on them. Now I throw in my cleanup whiz on the backside, my cleanup goblins on the backside. And I still probably have a good 15 hogs there, guys. And my queen is still up, right? So there's the three star. And good fashion form, nice spread out base with ground expos and like level 20 heroes, right? I took it down with level 10 and not even max troops for level 9. I'm still rocking that level 3 golem. Let's not make fun of old cast. He was uh, upgrading his Valks like he should be because that was the power of my crew. Only 10 of them, 20 hogs, but 10 Valks. And I ripped up that base in good fashion. Imagine if there was not a loon and a dragon there. That would have been 
devastating. But I hope I've convinced you guys, if I haven't convinced you over the last couple weeks of my two attacks, and I can't say Govejo is my attack. This is my version of Govejo. This is how I use it. Um, if you want to copy me, go ahead. I don't take offense. A lot of people use Govejo, but this is pretty much the same troop set I take every single war. If it's a higher level wall, a lava wall, Lego wall, then I'll cut out those and bring an extra wall breaker. Whatever. But that's my troop set. It's what's been working for me. You either use that or you use Queen Pop or both. I use both. So I hope you guys like it. Hey, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. Uh, guys, if you haven't followed me on Camcord and you follow me on here, go ahead and click that link now. Sub to Cast and Blast. I'll see you there. Much love, guys. Thank you.